All right, Governor Bob Bradley, thank you very much for coming in and, and talking with us today. Absolutely. Glad to. Give me a status update on, on what's going on in the Gulf. Well, the blob is still about where it was, mm -hmm. but the great news is we've had three days now of back-to-back -back good weather that's allowed us to put out about 100,000 feet of boom every day. We have now developed a plan that is going to work by putting pilings in the bay where we can close off that bay and double insulate some of these estuaries. And this afternoon I had an opportunity to visit with all the local mayors and the county commissioners. I told them the $25 million that BP had given the state, I want them to go home and tell me what else they need. Barges, because, anything like that. Yeah, because, I mean, there's so many things. I mean, you take people that live over in Battle of Battery. They've lived there all their life. They know exactly where we need to Right, they know where it's boom. shallow. They know where the currents are. Absolutely. And I told them, I said, that's what this is. And this is what BP told me. He said, if there's something that you need that these local communities can't afford, go ahead and tell them to go ahead and do it, and uh, let's pay them. So I gave them until tomorrow at noon to get me a priority list and then our legislators are going to sit down and help me prioritize mm -hmm. each one of them and I hope we can have that implemented by next week. So there's not a lot of red tape involved in this? No, no. And that's one of the things. I mean, the unified system is working. It really is. It's working better than I think most people understand. Captain Poulin is doing a... <laughs> he is an incredible guy. He has taken a, a real a really complicated situation and is doing a great job managing it. But again, to go in and say, I need this particular barge at this particular place and mm -hmm. run it through that, it's just going to, it'll take a couple of days. This way, the people that are local can go make that decision and just go ahead and implement the plan. Now, what about people, we've heard from some like restaurant operators sure. in Orange Beach who were saying, you know, BP won't give us any money. They say, well, after the leak is plugged, then they could be out of business by then. Yeah, and we've worked on that every every afternoon this week, and I think the claims process is better today than it was yesterday, is better yesterday than it was the day before, and it's getting better. I talked to Spencer Collier, representative from down in this area, and he said most of the fishermen now have their hands around it, and they're, be, they're able to go in and process this claim, get paid within, I think, a couple of days. We're trying to do exactly the same thing for anyone else that's going to have an economic loss anywhere on the Gulf Coast. It's going to take a few days, but again, we don't give but one shot at protecting these estuaries. So you've got to prioritize. You, you do, and that's what I'm saying. That money right now, if we can keep that oil from ever going back up into these grasslands, going back into these estuaries, then we eliminate it that day. And we don't have to deal with this for the next 10 or 15 years. And um, they are they're some of the, the best uh, areas in the world to produce fish, oysters, shrimp, and that has become our priority. Once we get through that, then everyone is going to turn all of our attention into making sure that the claims process is up, running, and fully functioning, and as quickly as we possibly can. Because uh, you know that tourism is such a key part of the Baldwin County economy, especially. Uh, as we were discussing a moment ago, I go home at night and I, I, I look at what's being portrayed to the national public out there about the beaches down here, and you would think that they're a toxic wasteland. We talked this afternoon, Mayor Kraft over in, uh, in Baldwin County said, I think we need to take part of this money and set up an ad campaign so when it does come ashore and then it is cleaned up if it does get on any of the beaches we can go out and do a national campaign I think that's a great idea mm -hmm. because the areas over there and the areas here are very very uh, dependent on tourist traffic the local economy is so we need to do some things that are out of the box, creative, innovative, to make sure that we get our message out just as quickly as we can. Do you think BP is actually going to come through and pay all the bills that need to be paid? Uh, they assure me that they absolutely will. The only thing that I can do, and I don't think anyone is going to just assume that everything that uh, has been said, because we don't know, but I can say this without any reservation. There has not been one thing. And they've told me from the day one, whatever you need, we will get it. Uh, there's still some things that are supposed to be en route we haven't gotten yet. But um, they have never said, well, that costs too much and don't do this. So everything that they've said in the planning stage, um, they have told me, you do whatever you think is necessary. 
and uh, send us a bill. Does it seem like it's not as bad as first thought? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you know, complacency is something that I just continue to tell all of my team. Don't. We've had three or four good days, and it's been a godsend. It's allowed us to do some things we otherwise would not be able to do, but it can reverse just as quickly. So what we have to do is have everything that we know is going to protect uh, our beaches and our estuaries in place. So when it does come, we get one shot at stopping this. And uh, I'm doing everything that I can. I hope everyone is that uh, is on this team to not get complacent because the weather's beautiful today, but think of where it was last Monday when we've gone through the bad weather and so many of the booms have been destroyed. and. Right. And we had to redeploy those. So if we put one layer of protection in, it's great. If we put two in, it's better. If we put three in, maybe we truly can do this. And the good weather and the money is giving you the opportunity to do this. Absolutely. Without either one of them, it would be very difficult to do. And um, BP, Coast Guard has done a, a, just an absolutely wonderful job. Uh, Corps of Engineers came in and built this compound that we're going to mm -hmm. decontaminate the ships before they come into the bay. They did that, literally have driven all the pilings, set the buoys, hope to have that ready next week. So it really has been a unified effort. And uh, Has the process worked better than you thought? It seems like everybody's working together really tightly. They really are. I've gone through five hurricanes. And... This time, and maybe it's because all of our people have worked through so many of these things before that we're becoming more acclimated to the system, but by having an outside partner like BP, in addition to all the federal resources and the state resources, has allowed us to do something that we have not been able to do before, like go out and take this $25 million and go into the communities and say, mm -hmm. just cut through the red tape. You guys go do what you know needs to be done to protect these beaches. I'm not too sure we could have done that before uh, with a system that was in place. So, I mean, it, there's always room for improvement, but uh, so far uh, it's come together really well. You sound more optimistic than maybe you were just a few days ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, when we laid all of that boom and uh, then you come back and the waves really get up and it destroys 70, 80 percent of it, and uh, you understand that if that mass had come on shore then, it really would have been uh, catastrophic. And uh, then you, you realize that God gave us a few more days to get everything in place. Uh, when I say it's a godsend, I really tr do mean that. But that also gives us an opportunity now to do some things that we didn't think would have been possible the first of the week. So when I look at where we were Monday or Tuesday, and where we are today, we've come a long, long way. If we can get through this weekend, get into next week, and uh, implement some of the plans that I know the municipalities are going to have, I think we can be even better prepared. Governor Bob Riley, thank you very much. Get some rest. Thank you. Good to see you.